Last week, scientists identified a baby dragon egg that was discovered more than two decades ago. This week on Paleomania. Hello everyone, I'm Ryan the Raptor Guy, and welcome to this week's episode of Paleomania, where every fossil has a story to tell. Last week, a team of scientists from Canada, China, the United States, and the Slovak Republic identified a dinosaur embryo that had been discovered over two decades ago as a brand new species of dinosaur. In 1992, scientists in China discovered a clutch of large dinosaur eggs. The clutch contained about six to eight 18 inch dinosaur eggs. The eggs would have been laid in a nest that was 6.5 to 10 feet across and if complete the nest probably would have held up to 24 eggs. Dinosaur eggs are a pretty fascinating find in and of themselves but that's not all the scientists found. In one of the eggs they found a fossilized embryo. Later on they named this embryo Baby Louie. Not long after the discovery of Baby Louie this little dinosaur was smuggled out of China and into America. Fortunately, he was rediscovered and brought back to China, where scientists could study him in detail. When originally discovered, scientists weren't really sure what species Baby Louie belonged to. Some thought that he was a baby therizinosaur, which is a type of herbivorous theropod, while others assumed that Baby Louie was an embryo of a tyrannosaur. But close analysis of the fossils show that baby Louie was actually a species of giant oviraptorosaur. Oviraptorosaurs were a group of omnivorous theropods that are found throughout China, Mongolia, and in North America. Many species within this group are known for their tall and distinct crests on their heads that would have been used for display. Most species of oviraptorosaurs, like oviraptor itself, were pretty small, about the size of a sheep. So when scientists started finding these large species of oviraptorosaurs, it was almost like finding a mouse the size of a cow. Not only were scientists able to identify Baby Louie as an oviraptorosaur, but they also were able to tell that he was a brand new species. They dubbed the new species BB Long, which means baby dragon in Chinese. At 15 centimeters, or almost six inches long, Baby Louie was estimated to be about 78 days old, which would have put him at about 75% developed. He was almost ready to hatch when he died. By the time Baby Louie reached maturity, scientists calculate that he would have been about 11 years old. And by that time, he would have grown almost 12 feet tall and 26 feet long and weighed about 3 tons. Fossils discovered of other oviraptorosaurs reveal that many species within this group actually brooded their nests and eggs like modern birds do. They'd sit over the nest and they'd use their arms to kind of cover the eggs to protect them from predators and from the elements. While we didn't find any fossils of baby Louie's parents at the nest site, scientists think that baby Louie's parents probably would have done the same thing. The fact that we find baby Louie and the rest of the eggs in his, in his clutch at all speak of very rapid burial. So this is something that we don't really see today. If the nest wasn't quickly covered, then the eggs certainly would have been eaten by any passing predator. Because he was found in Cretaceous rock, we know that baby Louie was a victim of the Genesis flood. 4,350 years ago, baby Louie's mother was probably already pregnant with her latest clutch of eggs before the flood. During the mid to late stages of the flood, it became time for baby Louie's mother to lay her eggs. When she found exposed lands that had not yet been covered by floodwaters, she would have constructed a nest to lay her eggs in. Since we don't find fossils of baby Louie's parents, they probably left as the floodwaters began to encroach upon, upon this area of land, which would have rapidly covered baby Louie's egg and the nest he was in preserving them for 4,350 years. If it weren't for the cataclysmic events that overtook Baby Louie and his siblings, we probably wouldn't have the chance to learn as much as we have about B.B. Long, this incredible new species of dinosaur. That's all the time we have for today. So as always, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe below for more content just like this, follow me on Instagram, and remember, every fossil has a story to tell. See you next time.